Hey guys, and welcome back to our season not included. Clay's Amazing Space Carney Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are on the Rock Full of Brains, a couple of asteroids out in the ferment of space. And our objective today is to push back this barrier of the unknown here. If we come over to Pyaxon, our second asteroid, up here I have access to the enclosed telescope. We need to try and get Curie up here so that we can open up this area. I think I'm just going to make a brand new arbitrary surface of just there in fact that might even be one higher than I needed it but that's that's fine we'll we'll just we'll just move things around and make things work here secondary objective let's see if we can't unlock the next layer of technology we need to try and get ourselves all sorts of wonderful technologies to move on into the future uh, and one of the ones I'd like to really explore is the rocketry itself uh, but once we've got the uh, virtual planetarium that's another research center that we need to put somewhere I think I'm going to rip down these material studies over here and move them to their own little area and uh Oh, we got third. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to do that. We, we got some rad bolts. We could probably save these for something. Uh, because, as I say, we're going to do some research. And I want to start aiming towards all sorts of things. From nuclear reactors to high-tech uh, automation. There's just so many things. Uh, of course, the, the thermo sensor oh, for, for, for our igneous rock. I suppose that's actually the main one but there's so much there's so much i want to unlock so let, let's get going with that of course we can't do it because curie's on the other place at the moment but that that's fine that's fine the the uh, science is going well curie needs to be over here of course for the digging where is she what is she up to let's uh, let's go through the people over here ruben of course our brand new farmer rancher going around and doing the business maxwell should be mostly cooking and making deliveries for the safe running of the base maxwell there we go that's that's who i'm supposed to be looking at i just saw just saw curie mostly doing the cooking that's fine franklin turning over the oil biome that is also good but of course curie now going up and digging beautiful we have quite a plethora of gases being leaked to the uh, atmosphere of space out here uh, so i don't think we have to worry too much about curie suffocating while she is out here in fact i don't think we have to worry too much about anybody suffocating whilst they're up here i would however like to deconstruct a few of these ladders on this side and build some more on the other side so yeah i it's okay. It's all right. That's it's not as bad as it seems. It's not a it's a, it's a surface breach, but like we we did this ages ago. <laughs> but I'd like to rip these down so that we can uh, start taking a little bit of this oxygen out because as you just saw on this overlay, the enclosed telescope here needs oxygen to survive. Okay, we also need to put some ladders down to try and reach this random bit of debris. Okay, research complete. We've got the data analysis research open to us. If we come into the stations, this gives us the virtual planetarium, uh, which I'd, I'd like to put here, but I, I asked people to stop. You know what? I think we could just make more rad bolts. Let's rip these down. Also gives us the trailblazer module and orbital data collection lab. Uh, that, of course, is this guy here, which will only go inside of a rocket. You can see how it's got a little exclamation mark there. Uh, that's because you need to feed it plastic whilst in orbit and it will drop out space science for you. Okay, Virtual Planetarium is finished. We've got no research uh, focus selected. That's because we don't actually have the yellow one set up at the moment and all of the orange ones need the yellow as well. So we can't just work on that straight away. We'll figure out a place to set that up. But what does the Virtual Planetarium do? It converts these little things. You see these little uh, floppy disk data banks here? Well, you get these off of inspecting a whole bunch of stuff. As you can see, new log entry, uh, a single page of a long printout remains legible. I scan it and add it to my database. We could go and have a look at that, I suppose. Uh, but more importantly, yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, more importantly, we got ourselves one data bank out of that. This will go into the virtual planetarium, and I think it's like rad bolts to the materials. It's 10 data banks to one research point, which if we come and have a look at some of these, like that's... That's a lot. That's a lot. And that is what the... What, where, where is it? It's here somewhere. That's what the Orbital Data Collection Lab does. It turns plastic into those disks. You know, once the digging had been done, Franklin was the person who came through and did most of this. So uh, shout outs to Franklin there. 
Okay, so if I take the wire cutter here and say, hey, can you break all gas pipes and go straight the way across? That should have isolated this central central gas pipe here. And then if I go across, that should now mean that any oxygen that's coming through, and there's not going to be any for a while. Here it is. But when, when the oxygen comes through, it should go straight to the, to the telescope, I hope. Okay, here we go. I have no idea if this is actually going to back up. I suppose what we should do is build some sort of overflow. If we built a bridge, let, 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 let's go ahead and do that whilst I'm thinking about it. So we, we, we take the bridge off straight away, of course, because that is like the priority. And then when there's overflow, we go straight into there. I'd like to have made this a bit more roomy. Let's let's do that first as well. Okay, let's let's try something like this arrangement. Okay, yeah, this this works the way that I intend it to, as long as it carries on past this and goes up to the high pressure gas fit. I suppose we could have just gone up and down there, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens if there's more oxygen coming through, but I, th I think we're good. Okay, here comes some more highly filtered oxygen. We're now full. Are we going to... Yeah, that didn't work how I wanted it to. And why not is my question. How about we solve this with more gas bridges? Nope, didn't like that either. Oh, it wasn't connected in the background. Okay, that's that. That's fine. That's fine. All right, we we got we got more cleaning going. This is good. This is good. Is it? Yeah, that that's fine. That's really good. So the next thing we need to do, as you may have noticed, is we don't have an astronomer. Do we have anyone? Let's research. That's the wrong one. Do we have anyone on this rock that could possibly make their way to astronomer? Probably not. I mean, are we just going to send Plank over? I don't think he's been over before. I mean, we're going to need to give him everything anyway. So, yeah, okay. Let's go back to Reverse Lynn. Hello, how's it going? And, uh, oh, oh, we'll put Plank in the transporter whilst we go and see what's going on over here. Sand is nice. 15 operating is also nice, but I think we're going to pass for the moment as we don't have a serious need for any extra duplicates. All right, let's. Uh, We'll use the teleporter and send Plank over to have a look at this telescope. Okay, bam, Plank lands and goes for the polluted water. Where, where are you even going? What are you even doing? Okay, so but before he's going to do that, he needs to go around and tidy up because that, that's his highest priority. And it turns out these guys, they don't, they don't meet Plank's standards. But whilst Plank shows us what a highly trained scientist can do when they turn their considerable intellect to cleaning, I'd like to take this moment right here to thank a bunch of people with other superior intellects. That's right, my Patreon. Scrolling up the screen right now, you should see a list of names. These are the guys and girls that have decided that me and my various antics are worthy of support. These are the people that have taken the time out of their day and the money out of their wallets to help me pay for the ever increasing cost of my PC's energy bill. With every watt that flows into the back of this machine, I can feel my gratitude increasing moment by moment. And I have to say thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Hmm, so, like, Plank's highest priority is researching, so what are we... Look at this, I see a problem, I see a problem. One that we can easily fix, though. Power, power was the problem, ah. No, no, Pla Plank, we don't, we don't sleep here anymore, what What are you doing? We need to, to move you down below, there, there, there we go, sleep, sleep somewhere, oh, he's gone, he's, he's gone before I even saw what was going on, such a quick mover. Okay, there we go. Much better. Everything is in place and Plank is doing his work. I kind of wish we'd left him to pick up all the rocks, maybe. But let's go through and have a look at the star map and see what this is. Oh, look, at, look how fast he's doing. This is really fast. So what he's going to do is go around this outside edge first. Going to clear through everywhere that he's already uh, got access to in one layer. And then he's going to push out one more. And we're going to start getting access to some real deep space stuff. And that would be amazing to see. Whilst the star map is being searched, Curie's gone ahead and started building the rocket platform over here, just asked us to dig out all the area around it and she got off and running. Franklin of course also going through and doing a bunch of builds, but now that I've realised what's actually going to go here, maybe these should have been insulated tiles. But actually, whilst I was saying that, whilst I was building the whole, uh, whole platform over here, I was wondering whether once we've got the star map searched out, maybe we, what we should have done is put the platform over there and then had a whole load of ground equipment over this side. 
Ruben's earned a skill point. She, she's at the point where that really matters. Bam. New planetoid detected. Oh yeah, two of them, both at the same time, or the, no, two, two of the same. Okay, we got the same notification twice. But what is this? Black Blagola, Blagola, metal rich magma channels, peak light. It's got peak light, yo. Uh, but it's got a natural gas geyser, cobalt, gold, aluminium, and hydrogen. Oh wow, that's some stuffs right there. Oh. Okay, so we're going to send people over there for the gold and aluminium mainly. The cobalt is also good, I suppose. Hydrogen we just kind of make, and the gas geyser is going to power the extraction process, I, I, I think. Can we oversee the planetoid? We cannot oversee the planetoid. That's that's a bit of a shame. But that, that that's one that's one planet already. That's that's beautiful. Oh, that's that's amazing. We've also uncovered some more unknown objects that we're not going to be able to know what they are unless we build a rocket with a telescope on board. I, I think that's something that we might want to do. What rockets do we actually have access to right now? Let's have a look. The only way we can really do it is via this. Uh, sugar or steam? Yes, sugar or steam. I guess, I guess steam is the way, but we need 2,000 steel. Uh, we've got... Oh, uh, look how close we are. We, we just need to send some over, which we're waiting on lime. And iron ore. Oh, we really out of, we are really out of iron ore. I mean, we've got we still got five tons of iron, but that's... Oh, another new planetoid detected. Look at that. Tundralin? T Tundralin? Yeah, we'll go with that. Lush core? No idea what that means. A forest core. Uh, liquid sulfur geyser? Nice. Good for their farming sweetles. Chlorine gas vent? I mean, chlorine. Uh, lots of water? And a carbon dioxide geyser. Okay, I, I don't know. Ooh. We got pips and a... And some trees and arbor trees. We could we could probably make a a dirt farm from that. More importantly, a polluted dirt farm. Mm, yes, yes. Things to think about. Are we about to uncover another one as well? Let's let us let us wait and see. This one obviously going to take some time to process though. Okay, here we go. We are looking. We we've lost the bar underneath. I'm not sure why that would be. Yeah, no, no, no idea. We've just got to wait for. Let's have a look over here. Plank to do his uh, business. Uh, let's clear these. Uh, dismiss those particular. Um, messages there and we found a swampy ore field okay that's cool polluted dirt just just as we were talking about it mud and cobalt ore mmm I always like a new source of ore because maybe at some point we could actually get some pug slugs plug slugs just got one more tile and we will be done with the telescoping from this particular position. Unfortunately, reverse Lind, uh, there's, there's going to be a little bit of time until we can actually bust our way through. We are, of course, slowly draining the magma, but it's it's not much at a time. Uh, we really should replicate this this system elsewhere. We could, we could probably build another one over here and one in the middle. Melt the base. <laughs> That's it. It's it's chill over here. It's chill. Okay, off plank goes doing the final piece of research. Okay, that that's my oh oh he's he's gone one further out. I didn't I didn't know that was a thing. We're not we're not going to get anything from that, but that's that's cool. Or is this it? Is this the the last one? This might be the last one. That's so we do have fossil being turned into lime over here. So that that that's pretty good. We should be getting more steel for the steam engine pretty shortly. He is just going for a full loop, full another loop around the outside. Okay, that's cool. So with the star map now completely filled up, our boy Plank is going around and picking up all the debris on the floor. I think I might leave him at this for a little while, because as you can see, idle, we have duplicates doing nothing at the other side. So let, let's leave Plank here where there's all the food and having a great time. And hopefully, during this, uh, this, these items being put away, all this fossil will get delivered over there. We're, we're only 55 units of steel short of being able to build the engine. Of course, there's probably going to be a whole bunch of other stuff we need for the rocket other than just the engine. But, like, we could build, we could build an engine. That'd be fun. Okay, by the power of telling everybody to tidy up, we've managed to get rid of all the eggshell and fossil over here on Pyaxon, where we've got the telescope and rocket platform. Coming over to Reverse Lin, once again, that's the place with all the 
lava. Let's see what's holding us up over here. Lime, zero. I mean, we're, we're working at it. We're working at it, and the steel is being produced. So I suppose this is the bottleneck right here. I don't know. Yeah, there's still lots of deliveries to be done, so I'm not sure how much more there is to be... Uh, you know what? We can we can find out like this. We come over, we type in the word fossil. We, we marvel at the printing gate coming out. So we've got ourselves, you know, four, 400 grams there. What about eggshell? Uh, not, not these, but down here. We've got like two and a half tons. Wow. Zero here, but where where are they? Hmm, is it because they're oh, reserved for future use? Okay, uh, th that that system kind of annoys me sometimes, but it's where we're at. Same with the 200. Is the, the 200 what's in here? No. Hmm. 200 like up here just about to be moved is that is that it I, I, don't, I never I don't know what the reserve means does it mean that it's actually been used or is it still on the floor and being picked up does the reserve mean it's inside their inventory I don't know we're gonna take the bristle berries though yes bristle battery berries though um, and we'll uh, we'll do that I really need an artist still the thing that we're looking for one thing I quickly want to do is turn the data bank off of this general storage. And I think maybe we can stick ourselves a storage bin up here. Let's put the other side. No, that side there. Uh, and then we can put all of the data banks into there. And they're really close for the research. I think I think that's a great idea. Maybe we need to move this kitchen at some point as well. It's, it's in between all our researches. And I could definitely see this being a material science bay. Especially if we manage to get a bunch of Weezwort set up around here. I don't know if you guys are aware that Weezwort is radioactive. And of course inside the radiation sector we've got this rad bolt generator uh, it, it will produce rad bolts directly from the wheeze wart so maybe we want to try and set up some sort of system using the the, the, the pips around we, we had some pips i don't know if we still got any uh, there's a pip yeah maybe maybe we can set something up we have to sweep this place clean though and then start from there this this is going to take a while so that will almost definitely just be something ticking over in the background. Uh, talking of, look, look, look at this. There's a neutronium pile there. I, I don't remember actually having a look and seeing what that is. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. You know what? Let's let's do that at the same time as tidying this place up. Let, let's go and just uncover a corner as soon as the autosave is done oh let's go and uncover a corner here and uh see see what wonders await us i've got a feeling it's going to be horrors rather than wonders alternatively i could have no one who's able to dig why do we keep going into research when i want skills ah i mean rutherford could dig boar could dig i think i think we're gonna give rutherford a few more skills. Look, like, look how happy he is. Look how happy he is. Now we can go through and double that out. Beautiful. Oh, look, look, look. He's being happy at the, at the gate. He's being happy at the gate. Yes, he's got new skills. Wonderful. Oh, that lump of steel. That I need that little lump of steel. If that could get picked up, Rutherford, are you going to come grab it? Are you going to make more? I, get, I, mean, I suppose making more is good. How about Boar? No, he's off to go and pick other... What, what are you even doing, Boar? Where are you going? What are you picking up some meat? Wait, does this guy just keep cycling around? I mean, that that could be a thing. How old is this? He's only 15. Okay. I think, I think we've made a tiny, tiny starvation farm here. Oh, this guy lives long enough to drop an egg. He then dies, drops some meat, and the new guy also then repeats that s the system. And we end up with just one hatch turning over, giving us a bit of meat every hundred cycles. Okay, that's that, that's cool. That's really cool. Okay, so we're missing 500 grams of eggshell to turn one over, and we're missing 30 grams, 20 grams of fossil to be able to turn the next one over. So that means we're done making all the lime we can make, which means everything is all down to the refinery over here, turning the iron ore into iron and then that iron into steel. Still waiting for this bit to get picked up, though. We've actually tripled the size of the pile, and it's... Okay, I mean, that's, that's fine, I suppose, but I would like to build a rocket. You know what, let's, um... It's very gently and calmly encourage them to do what I need them to do. Yes. <laughs> no, not the end of the day. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Store those materials. I'm not I'm not going to let you just suddenly stop because, like, there's food to be eaten. No, no, no. Look, they left it just on the side here. What is wrong with them? 
What is wrong with them? <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, the deliveries have been made. Man, that, that was painful. That was very painful. <laughs> Talking of painful, I think this water level is dropping. You might remember that we sorted this out last time by dropping a hydro sensor, and when that hydro sensor detects anything, turns the oil well off. But I was a little bit worried that the carbon dioxide that gets flooded down here, which feeds the slicks, which then also drop oil, might be keeping ahead of everything. But no, I think not. I think actually we are managing to lower the levels here. So that, that's pretty good. Talking of lowering levels, let's get rid of some steel, shall we? We're going to go new rocket. We're going to go steam engine. If you could, please build that. All right, beautiful, beautiful. First one going down. I don't know whether we need a ladder to run up the side here. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw down a ladder for access. Okay, access going well. After the steam engine, what else do we want to put on here? You know what? I'm not sure. We're, we're not really going off and doing anything. So I think maybe we're going to throw a trailblade. No, I don't even want that. I think I'm just going to put a space fairer nose cone on it. I, I think that's all I'm going to do. Rocket and nose cone means that I can go up and uh, do do some exploration, right? Just need to put a telescope. I don't know whether we can put a telescope in the solo nose, uh, solo space fairer nose cone. It, it's it's a bit small in there. We'll build it and we'll have a look. Hmm, the one I would want just in case is this spacefarer module over here. I mean, we can start the research, but all we're going to do is get these top two done because this bottom one, it needs the material study. That would give me a, uh, a nose cone, a uh, living space on the rocket, nearly twice the size. But yes, the material study bay. Hmm... I really want to build the thing here that I was just talking about, but maybe we're going to have to make do and kind of just make something work with uranium for the moment. I also want to clear out this room just a little bit. New, new printing pod. That's how long this has taken. Dirt. Suit wearing, ranching, rocketry building, ranching, digging. You would have been great at the beginning of the game. Not so great now. Oh, the engine has literally just gone down. We're going to need to put ourselves a little steam turbine down here to be able to produce the, uh, the fuel for it, if you will. I really want to have a look at this though. Uh, uh, unreachable. Uh, wait, we could we could fix that. We could fix that. Okay, it is built. Let's go and uh, have a look at the interior. Yeah, I thought this was the case. But the thing that I want to show you guys right now, if we come into the stations, look, this orbital uh, collection data. We could we could just pop that at the top there, and that would be great. You know, I've kind of, I've kind of forgotten some other things that we need here, and I'm not even sure if we have access to them. If I come in, do we have? A no, there is no battery module. There is no way of powering this, given what the technology is that we have right now. Okay, this this might be a little bit more awkward than I was expecting. Power, space power. This this is the one we want, not the larger nose cone. Still going to need that advanced research center though. Ever feel like it was a bad idea ripping down the thing you just ripped down? Okay, for now, something like this should do us, hopefully. Yes, that, that, that should be fine. Do we need some power? We do need some power. But uh, hopefully this should give us enough for the beginnings of what we need, and then we'll, we'll come in and sort the actual radiation out later on. Okay, whilst they're doing that, Plank, I know you've been having a... Wait, why can't I move? There we go. I know you've been having a great time over here, but we need to uh, we need to send you home. It, it, it's about to... Oh, no, no, it's the end of the day. We're not going to be able to get you out there in time. That, that's a shame. I'd really like you to, to teleport over by the end of the day, please. No, just... You're just going to sit there and eat instead. Okay. Okay, new day, new cycle. Plank has just woken up, hopefully going straight to the teleport machine. All right, go, go. We, we, we got to get you out of there because there's a whole bunch of stuff you need to do over here. There's a whole bunch of stuff. And hopefully people... What, why aren't... Where, where's Rutherford? Rutherford should be on the digging of this. Ranching. Okay, I mean, this is like super high priority. Why is this not your super high priority? Rutherford claims un, undiggable? Unreachable, sorry? I very strongly disagree. Wait, what? Rutherford. Move to. Why? You can go here. Have I locked you out? Yes. I've locked you out. Okay, let, let's, let's deal with that. There was a reason for that once upon a time, but I don't think that exists anymore. Now, that was to stop people getting irradiated, I remember. I remember. I mean, it kind of doesn't exist anymore, but we'll, we'll see what's up. Whilst this is go, we want you over there, and we'll uh, turn that on to forever. I don't know how much uranium ore we've got left, but uh, we'll, we'll definitely want it. Maybe not right now, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll wait until the whole thing gets built, and then turn it on to forever. Okay, material study done. Let's turn this on to forever, and hopefully at some point we're gonna gonna get. The, oh, why why are you taking me down here? I don't I don't want to be down here. I want to look up here. No, stop fighting me. <laughs> Wait, why? 
why? I've closed this down and cut open back up and everything. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll just accept that research needs to be done at some point. Okay, Plank is knocking out the research. Look at this, 12 and 41. I mean, that's that, that's good. This novice research is going to be done pretty quick. Of course, getting this applied science research, this is going to take some time. Okay, let's just get Rutherford to pump this through a few times, and hopefully we'll have enough rad bolts to actually be worth doing stuff with at some point. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, we're getting some research done. This is good. Oh man, this is going to take a while, and I have just realised how far through this episode are. We're already up to three applied science, and of course we are adding more as we go through. But with that, I'm going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time, where we're going to try and figure out how to get this space machine over here out to the wilds of the star map, so that we can start exploring some of these other planets. I mean, that's not going to happen yet. Next episode, next episode, flying telescopes out to find out what's going on. But I will see you then when... And we're gonna do that. Bye. Yeah, we really completely out of uranium at this point. Not quite, but it's close. Bye.